Uh, thank you, Santi. So, colleagues, uh, we have come to the end of the conference, so let me share with you some lessons that I draw from the discussions, the very rich discussions that we had, debates, keynotes for the past two days. Um, first of all, on the central topic of the conference, the importance of digital skills for all. Uh, yeah, the COVID pandemic obviously was an enormous catalyst for investment in ICT infrastructure and growth of the edtech sector. And these investments, I think, were very crucial to, uh, to boost um, the ICT integration and to make a step forward with, uh, with that. However, I think now also the time has come to look more beyond the technical aspects and to pay attention to digital skills of both our students and teachers. And this requires, I think, a, a, a thorough development of the educational curricula, focusing on integrating ICT-related topics and skills in different subject areas and different levels of education. As we heard over the past days, and also just here now with the, with the, with the students' panel, um, it's important that not only technical skills, but also data literacy, critical thinking, problem solving, media and information literacy, coding skills are emphasized if we want to cope with the new developments such as AI. As member states of European Schoolnet, we face similar challenges. It's European Schoolnet's ambition to learn from each other and to hear more about how other countries tackle issues such as teacher training and especially the case study presentations from Portugal and the examples from the host country Italy and in the, mo in the morning session from Spain were very inspiring. AI could also not be missed at our conference because 2023 was not only the year of skills but also the year of the breakthrough of ChatGPT and AI with an immediate impact on schools and the education system. And both European Schoolnet, the European Commission, the, the, the ministries of education have all taken actions, for example, in the field of professional development, research, the promotion of, et of ethical guidelines, etc. And we have also seen and heard examples of this during the conference, but obviously a lot of work is still on the shelf. There were also critical voices. Mark West's keynote was thought-provoking and will certainly feed further discussions on the topic of skills and competences in digital edu education. He made important comments on the ownership of technology in education and the role of the corporate edtech sector in particular. And he emphasized the strong need for a more critical digital awareness and the need to bring back values in the tech and education debate. It's gradually becoming a tradition, one that I'm quite proud of, I must say, that we listen to the voices of pupils and students. And this was the case again during this edition of Eminent. Their insights, aspirations, and concerns are very valuable in shaping the course of technology integration in our educational landscape. And as we heard today from the students' voices, uh, they hold the uh, key to a more nuanced, more inclusive and effective approach to harnessing the potential of ICT in our classrooms. And although the students expressed their, their concerns and we need to take this very seriously, the focus was also on benefits, on possibilities, opportunities that technology offer for learning and teaching. And it makes clear that students themselves understand the, import the importance of professionalizing their teachers so that those teachers can properly guide them in dealing with technology and thus prepare them for life and work in a society where technology is omnipresent. Let me close this, uh, with, uh, this, uh, this session with, um, with some word of thanks. Uh, I'd like to extend my gratitude to the keynote speakers and panelists who, participate, who participated in the conference. Thank you for very generously sharing you, with us your valuable insights, opinions, and the outcomes of your research and your projects. A special thanks also to the European Commission, specifically to the DG Education and Culture. And I also would like to thank the European Schoolnet team for the organization of the event, more particularly Sylvia, Sofia, and Laura for the practical organization, and Santi for hosting this conference. Finally, I want to thank the hosts from Indiri and the Italian Ministry of Education for kindly hosting us here and co-organizing the conference together with EUN in this beautiful city of Rome. And with this, I hand back to you, Santi. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now we close with Indira. So I think uh, uh, 
we, we do some, well, we've been honored to have you. So Cristina Greco is the president of Indire, so please. Oh, you had a presentation. <laughs> oh, just a little. Just sorry. Just to okay, sorry. Good morning, everybody. Um, first of all, uh, I want to thank you, all of you, for your participation, for uh, your contributions and the commitment to this conference. And uh, let uh, me thank the, the Indire team and the European Schoolnet uh, staff for the organization. Uh, the excellent organization, both uh, on uh, uh, content side uh, as the logistic uh, uh, logistics side. Um, we are at uh, the end of this uh, event, and uh, it's important to reflect on the discussions and insight we have shared. Our focus on empowering, empowering schools with digital skills is not just a timely theme, but also a necessary step in adapting to the digital area. This conference, in collaboration with our partners of the European Schoolnet and the European Commission, has brought together key stakeholders in education from across Europe to share best practices and strategies for digital transformation in education. This year, the European Year of Skills Offer, offers a pivotal uh, moment for us to consider how we are preparing our education systems to bridge the digital divide. We have explored how to enhance digital skills in students, empower schools and educators with the necessary tools and training. I would like to wrap up the lessons learned from these two working days which have provided us with a comprehensive understanding of the digital education landscape. Uh, we have uh, three highlights. Uh, definition of uh, empower, common definition of digital education, and the role of teachers. Point uh, number one. Uh, we can see the increasing importance of information processing, social, emotional, and metacognitive skills in our evolving, evolving digital landscape. To possess qualities that give individuals or groups the means to take more control of their lives, becoming stronger and more independent. However, it also highlights a significant challenge. A large number of people globally lack these essential skills, which is crucial to their, to their personal development and our collective social progr progress. The, the digital era presents us with a paradox. While technology provides uh, access to vast amounts of information, it also exposes us to misinformation. Developing the ability to, as uh, to access, assess, and apply information critically is now more important than ever. Focusing on populations that lack these skills, particularly those from uh, disadvantaged backgrounds, is essential for an inclusive digital transitions. Point number two, common definition of digital education. Uh, digital education ecosystem includes uh, infrastructure, connectivity, and equipment. High quality digital content, educators with uh, digital competencies, and the development of digital knowledge, skills, and competencies. Uh, fostering interpersonal relation in digital learning environments. Digital technologies influence the ways in which learners learn, seek, and share information, as the, 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 our young guest said. In digital education ecosystems, learners' exposure to various information requires the de development of uh, digital literacy, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills. These are main topics uh, on which uh, our institute, INDIRE, has invested a lot in these uh, last uh, years and uh, will continue as written in our uh, annual program for 2024. To develop uh, a new digital scenario for uh, education, we have learned that it is crucial to support school and, teacher, and teachers in implementing integrated solutions while teaching through and by the use of technologies, 
but also supporting schools as learning change makers. The new frontier of, of artificial intelligence has to be introduced as a helping driver for schools and teachers. However, the integration of AI and digital technologies in education brings to the forefront the importance of cybersecurity. The approach to digital security is integral to maintain the trust and efficacy of digital technologies in educational settings. And number three, the role of a teacher. Teachers have a, a central role in the improvement of educational environments and in supporting the well-being of students in the process of learning. Teachers need to develop and strengthen their digital competencies and enhance their knowledge of the benefits and challenges of using digital so tools in their teaching. Well-being in digital education involves physical, cognitive, social, and emotional content that enables all individuals to engage in all digital learning environments, including through digital education and training tools and methods. Addressing the digital divide is a matter of inclusivity and equity. Our efforts must ensure that digital education reaches all sections of society, especially those from disadvantaged background. This inclusivity is not just a moral imperative, but also a necessity for, for societal and economic well-being. This includes also the importance of raising the attractiveness of ICT skills development for girls through gender-sensitive approaches to teaching digitalization-related competence. And it is very important in Italy, as we see yesterday at the PISA assessment results. So, future actions. It is imperative that we promote universal access in digital education. Our goal is to ensure that digital, digital learning is accessible to everyone, particularly those from uh, disadvantaged backgrounds. We must diligently work to break down barriers that prevent equitable access to education in digital uh, age. We must also implement national digital strategies. This involves the development and execution of uh, comprehensive di digital strategies at a national level aimed at enhancing the quality and reach of digital education. These strategies are essential for navigating the ever-evolving landscape of digital learning. A key aspect of our approach is sup to support educators. Educators are the backbone of the learning process and it is crucial to provide them with robust support systems. This includes enhancing their digital competencies through targeted train pro training programs and ensuring they have access to the, access to the necessary tools to facilitate effective digital teaching. We must also utilize the European Council's recommendations. These recommendations provide a framework for, the, for delivering high quality, inclusive, and accessible digital education. Adding to and implementing uh, these uh, guidelines will significantly improve the effectiveness of our digital education initiatives. It is essential to leverage the Digital Education Action Plan 2021-2027. This plan outlines specific goals and strategies that are instrumental in guiding our digital education initiatives. Embracing and integrating these objectives will uh, propel our efforts forward. Collaboration. Collaboration is a key factor, and thus we must foster collaboration among EU countries and educational partners. By sharing best practices, resources, and expertise, we can enhance the effectiveness and reach of digital education across Europe. We must promote, promote cybersecurity measures to ensure that uh, the integration of AI and digital technologies in educational setting is secure. Protecting our learning environments from cyber threats is paramount for a safe learning experience. Uh, and finally, we must assess and update our digital education initiatives regularly. Establishing a system for regular assessment and updates ensures that our approach remains relevant and adaptable 
to the ever-changing technological landscapes and the educational needs. Each component, from uh, policy to practice, from security to inclusivity, works synergically. Our success in empowering school with schools with digital skills depends on how well these elements integrate and support each other. In moving forward, it's vital to remember that digital skills go beyond just technology. It's about creating a future where education systems, teachers, and students are equipped to navigate and excel in a digital world. It's a holistic approach, one that requires our continued collaboration, innovation, and commitment. I want to thank you once again. Your expertise and dedication to digital are crucial in shaping a more informed digital future at a national and European level. We have a great re re responsibility. Uh, our young guest uh, said, said, <laughs> told us just now, but uh, uh, we, we have to change, but uh, we, we need uh, awareness uh, about the ways of changing. So, Thank you and enjoy your lunch. Thank you. Thank you, Christina. Before we break for lunch, I know you, you're already there, but just a, just a second. Uh, I also would like to, to thank you. I mean, as an audience, you've been a very patient, committed, um, engaged. You've been very skilled and competent, both digitally and analogically, I would say. And uh, I'm sure you will probably well, let's put it this way. You may forget what we discussed in those two days, you know, things and content, etc. But I'm sure you will not forget the bonds and the network and the people you met. So I think you will bring that home with you. And uh, thank you again for being with us. And uh, Viva European Schoolnet. Thank you. Thank you.